Beacore systems monitor the interaction between two molecules. The ligand is attached to the sensor surface and the analyte free in solution. There are different ways to attach the molecule to the surface. The most common procedure is direct covalent coupling using reactive groups on the ligand for immobilization. Covalent immobilization fixes the molecule permanently on the surface, often with a heterogeneous orientation. Capture-based coupling is another common approach, and it's used when ligand is unstable or difficult to immobilize or regenerate. And hydrophobic attachment is used for work with lipid bilayers or liposomes. There are a range of general purpose sensor chips used for covalent coupling chemistry. The general steps involved in immobilizing ligands are the same for essentially all covalent methods. Beacore systems offer similar support for thiol, malamide and aldehyde coupling. The most common coupling procedure, amine coupling, introduces N-hydroxysuccinamide esters to the surface matrix by modification of the carboxymethyl groups with a mixture of NHS and EDC. These esters then react spontaneously with the amines and other nucleophilic groups on the ligand to form covalent links. Our software guides you through the immobilization step by step. First we will select the chip type you want to use. In this case, we are going to use CM5 chip. Flow cell 1 is used as reference with activation and deactivation, a blank immobilization. This flow cell will be used for bulk referencing. Flow cell 2 will be immobilized with the ligand. We will also choose amine coupling method. The system needs to be prepared with a prime with running buffer before running. Reagents are automatically positioned in the rack, but can easily be altered. Before starting the run, you can check reagent volumes and estimated runtime. Name your run file and method and save it in an appropriate folder. When the method has finished, the immobilization result is reported. The reagents and sample injections can easily be viewed in the sensogram.